So, Tom, yes. congratulations on your 60th birthday. Oh, again with the birthday, yes, thank you. It's actually the 40th. <laughs> yeah, 40th. Yes. Uh, never good with numbers. It's the 20th anniversary of my 40th an okay. uh, birthday. Yep. So just tell me, you have advocated today or yesterday about PLUS mm -hmm. Center yeah. Near Designs mm -hmm. as potentially offering some sort of control of myopia and yeah. myopia management. Yeah. Can you just explain that to us? Well, uh, of course, I've been using all sorts of contact lenses for uh, over 25 years, uh, bifocal contact lenses, primarily ortho-K also, but uh, back in the early days, there was no concept that it had to be any particular type of design. It was long before Earl Smith and Brian Holden, uh, Earl primarily talking about the value of the periphery and, and how you could put the treatment on the periphery. There's a lot of uh, advantages that potentially because it, 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 at, at its uh, limits for instance if you had perfectly clear vision in the distance and you could put all the bad tasting medicine out to the periphery and you could control myopia uh, that would be great so mm -hmm. it is a worthwhile goal but I think generally what we found is that the closer you bring the plus to the center and the greater the plus is uh, the more control you get uh, and so uh, there's a limit to um, how much medicine or power you can get in, into a lens with that and have no effect on the visual performance i'd say in a lab the kids are very adaptive to things and so there are some really uh, what would look like challenging lens designs out there that kids do perfectly fine with so mm -hmm. near center lenses um, distance center lenses at the time i was using them primarily it was really just how to deliver the optics of a bifocal eyeglass in people that we knew that they helped with. So mm -hmm. primarily early days, kids who had ESO at near, or adults mm -hmm. for that matter, and bifocals, either type, uh, take care of them. So that was the initial um, okay. need for those. You mentioned eyeglasses there. Mm -hmm. We've had heard over this conference about some interesting developments with regard to eyeglasses. Yes. It would seem Zeiss, Hoya, yeah. Essilor mm -hmm. are all coming out with designs, but we heard one really novel approach. Well, there was, yeah, a real novel approach out of uh, Hong Kong uh, with a lens that had multiple lenslets all arrayed on the lens. Each each one was maybe a millimeter in diameter, three and a half doctors of add, and uh, with a clear central zone. And um, it looks, when you look at it, that there's no way you could wear that. But they report very good um, acceptance by the kids, good visual acuity, distance and near. But really the key is they found 60% control of both axial length and uh, refraction. I think it was in a two-year study, probably 100 kids, I don't remember exactly. But uh, a spectacle lens to do that. I didn't look to see whether they had a difference in from the other spectacle studies where they only had an effect in the first year. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking if they got 60%, they probably had effect in both years. So really remarkable as far as that's concerned. So we'll see if that makes it to market.